people in this from this prayer altar from this national altar we declare declare that any other altar and that lifted itself in this nation it shall not flourish in the mighty name of jesus come on open up your mouth and the bible says in psalm 66 and david said thank you lord for you and my voice your voice is weighted in heaven you cannot afford to be silent in the presence of the lord come on declare and prophesy upon kenya in the mighty of the Lord Jesus uh, and declare declare and uh, that this nation is blessed uh, and that this nation belongs to the Lord uh, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus uh, nor any other altar that shall raise his tail uh, in this, this nation uh, uh, shall prosper uh, command the soil of Kenya uh, to reject and foment uh, any other strange and wicked altar of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus uh, and declare declare and that the altar and the righteous altar and uh, that is of the most high God uh, it shall flourish and shall reign upon this nation uh, Abba Father in the mighty name of Jesus uh, upon this altar King of Kings uh, we thank you Lord we give you glory we declare declare uh, that Kenya belongs unto thee Jehovah in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we declare the Kenya unto thee, Jehovah. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we commit the nation to thy able hands. Uh, we commit the governance of the day to thy able hands. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, Heavenly Father, we arise uh, against every enemies of the, this nation, dear Father. We arise against every thought that is wicked. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, Krekata uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, we declare, declare and that this nation belongs unto thee, dear Father. And let this nation never slip off your hands, Jehovah God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Father, hear us this hour. We uproot every altar and that lifted itself against the will and the knowledge of God. In this nation, in the name of Jesus, we now brand a righteous altars uh, across the 47 counties uh, across the entire nation uh, we release righteous altars uh, hey, mahanda bakada bakada kosa, in the mighty name of Jesus Heavenly Father we thank you we give you glory for this land of Kenya it is a gift from the Lord uh, Heavenly Father we pray that this gift of this nation that you have given us uh, we shall handle it with care. God Almighty, look favorably upon Kenya. Guard our borders in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the Spirit of the Lord cover the nation in the name of Jesus. Let there be the saturation of the grace and the Spirit of God upon the land of Kenya. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, we pray for the governance of the day. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, and the governance of the day is the child of the church. Uh, and we rededicate the entire governance. Uh, His Excellency the President, uh, His Excellency the Deputy President, uh, and the entire cabinet. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we decree and declare in the mighty name of jesus uh, and that the righteous ones shall only prevail in the mighty name of jesus uh. in the mighty name of jesus 25 proverbs 25 i told you you would allow me to interject in some minute in some point proverbs 25 verse 5 the bible says take away the wicked from the king from before the king and his throne will be established in righteousness take away the wicked from anywhere the king and then the throne shall be established in righteousness isaiah 32 verse 17 the bible says and this righteousness will bring peace in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah just open up your mouth you are in the altar as you were told at the opening remarks by our excellency that in this altar we command this nation open up your mouth and declare, declare that if there is anyone 
or any mind that is wicked that is around the presidency of this day oh mahakata zekata fire them in the name of jesus repress them with the righteous in the mighty name of jesus and declare declare that the righteous will take over in every circle, in, in every circle, Katika Jinara Yesu, if they are wicked people and that surround the president, ah, Bakadaya, fire them in the name of Jesus. And this is the power and the authority that we have upon this altar. And this is the altar of the living God. And they that misread the king, and let them be fired and deploy the mighty hand to pick them out of anywhere near the state house in the name of jesus it doesn't matter in what circles are the proximities are even if they could be in anything even if they're in the media even if they're in the secretariat even if they're in the cabinet wherever they are and they are in the circles of the presidency and they're influencing either directly or spiritually by the powers of darkness and fire them in the name of jesus fire them in the name of Jesus, uh, anywhere near the president and the deputy president uh, and their spouses in the name of Jesus. Uh, and plant the righteous ones. Uh, for the Bible says uh, that the, the righteousness of the Lord uh, shall establish uh, the, king, the, the thrones of the king uh, and the presidents of this nation uh, shall be established by righteousness. Uh, in the by the name of Jesus, Reba Hakote Kadarabazeka, it is a serious business. A call upon the hand of the Lord, and the outstretched mighty hand of the Lord, and deploy the hand of the Lord in the Senate, and deploy the hand of the Lord in the assemblies, and deploy the hand of the Lord in the county assemblies, and deploy the mighty of the hand of the Lord to uproot and pick out every wicked mind, every wicked daughter. And this nation belongs to the Lord, and the righteous shall have dominion. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, we pray and believe somebody shout Amen. Somebody shout a serious Amen. Because it is done and fixed in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray for the church in some five, ten minutes. I want us to pray for the church in the mighty name of Jesus because I believe the church should not only be involved in politics or governance of a nation, but the church should own the structures that put leaders into place. For the church to execute such a mandate, the church needed to be bold. Philippians 120, Philippians chapter 1, verse number 20, the Bible says uh, uh, that Paul says, I am bold uh, for Christ as I was before. The church has dared to be bold before. We pray that the boldness of Christ be upon the church, uh, that the church will stand in the space uh, and declare the will of the Father upon his people. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray for unity upon the church. Pray for boldness upon the church uh, and pray that the church will embrace the, the kingdom mindset uh, and the, irregardless, uh, irregardless of denomination and faith and beliefs uh, and that the church will bless a kingdom mindset. Uh, the church will be united uh, for the glory of God. Uh, open up your mouth and pray and that the church will not cower and that the church will arise uh, and the church will arise and declare, declare and that God has given the governance of this nation uh, unto the church not for two, ten years uh, but for generations in the name of Jesus uh, and we shall not let it go in the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, come on somebody intercede for the body of Christ uh, uh, to have some boldness uh, in the name of Jesus uh, and to be united in love uh, uh, for the glory of God. Rebahando rebasekatari basaya iriheketezi bakorabara kando eri mahando re baseka ya eri hekete zibayando arahamba baba 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 and thank you Christ Jesus the Messiah uh, seated in the heavenly presence uh, at the right hand of the father interceding for nations and for your bride the church oh rihambaradaya rebakata zekata 
let the church be united Lord uh, by the power of the blood of Jesus uh, and by the love of Jesus uh, let the church be united Lord uh, uh, to occupy and overcome uh, in the name of Jesus uh, uh, for the glory of God uh, for the good of the people of Jehovah uh, in the name of Jesus uh, and Father we thank you Lord we give you glory we bless your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus we pray and believe somebody shout amen somebody shout a better amen hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you king of kings and at this time at this time in that moment of prayer I want us to pray for his excellency the deputy president and his entire family in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to commit him to the Lord in Jesus' mighty holy name. The Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter number 20, verse number 15, the Bible says, Do not be afraid or di dis dis uh, discouraged, for the battle is not yours, but God's. I repeat, do not be, di do not be afraid or discouraged, for the battle. Is not yours, but God. Second Chronicles 20, verse number 15. Hallelujah. I want us to pray for the president and the family. As you know, uh, that uh, whatever is happening right now, uh, the inclination of much pressure and, uh, 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 and the disturbance uh, is incarnated into this family uh, because the enemy is threatened because of the mandate that God has given this family. And uh, my one is that uh, whatever God intended to do, through this family, God will still do. No matter what men think, no matter the conspiracy, uh, but God does not change his agenda. Men could have changed the agenda, but God does not change his agenda. Uh, there is a special mandate. Uh, there is a mantle that is upon our excellency, Pastor Dr. Dokas, uh, and that is a burden for the church. Uh, and the devil wants to think that he can divert that. Uh, I want us to arise uh, uh, because we know with some good understanding that the enemy is waging war against kingdom. Uh, it is a spiritual battle, uh, but these ones are God chosen uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, uh, but I want to say and declare uh, that the generals of God are meant upon the mountains of afflictions uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, and the Bible tells us in James 5 13 uh, uh, that is anyone among you afflicted, uh, he treated a uh, uh, suffering evil, he should pray. It is right like now that we need to pray and declare, declare uh, that this but also are not for us and our excellency are not for the family in the name of Jesus uh, and they are the Lord's uh, and that they should not fear and they should not be discouraged uh, and the assignment of God stands uh, and God will see it into fulfillment uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, and lift up your voice for the sake of this family in the name of Jesus uh, and the will of God shall prevail in the mighty name of Jesus uh, and that God will give them courage uh, and that God will give them strength uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Rebakata uh, zokata, we transfer the battles. Irakata zokete ribarakadaya, rekete zikata from off the shoulders of this family. We surrender the battles uh, of this family unto the Lord. Uh, and the one says the battles are thou Jehovah God uh, and take up these battles uh, of his excellency the deputy president Geoffrey regarding a shower uh, but father we uh, surrender him unto thee uh, take up the battles of our excellency uh, pastor Dr. Dokas dear father in the name of Jesus uh, uh, together with their sons a uh, uh, king that Kevin, uh, we declare, declare that uh, they are covered by the blood of Jesus, uh, and they are hidden in the blood of Jesus, uh, where the enemy cannot locate them, uh, and the enemy may try, uh, but he will not succeed. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we scatter every conspiracy against their lives, uh, against their mission, uh, against the assignment that is given them of the Lord. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, Abba Father, we thank you. Abba Father.
we give you glory hear our cry this day we have seen your move as since last day dear lord we have seen your move heavenly father our trust is in thee and the bible says in psalm 31 and first number one oh lord i put my trust in thee and that i shall not be ashamed and they that put thy trust their trust in thee and shall not be ashamed i declare declare that this family will not suffer shame oh in the name of jesus come on somebody intercede and for the sake of this family it is where they shall know peace even as they do the will of the father even as they execute the assignment of rescuing the destitute in the name of Jesus uh, of rescuing the destitute Lord uh, if we don't have a better sacrifice uh, heavenly father we have a sacrifice uh, of the lives of widows uh, and that have been touched by this office uh, we have the sacrifice to bring before you Lord uh, of the many young men uh, and that have been delivered uh, and from the bondages of drunkenness Jehovah and drugs addiction dear father and by the hands of this family Jehovah heavenly father and remember these sacrifices Lord, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, and give them grace never like before, and uh, strengthen their own uh, in this space, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, and we give you glory, King of Kings. Thank you, Abba Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, he that liveth from everlasting to everlasting, we worship and bless your holy name. Particularly upon the life of our His Excellency and our Excellency, dear Father, their sons Keith and Kevin, we call their names upon this altar. It, it doesn't matter where those names are being called for ill motives. But this day, Heavenly Father, even as we stand on our knees in this altar, Heavenly Father, we call and present thy names before thee, Jehovah, upon the thrones of mercy, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. And right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, and the power that is conferred upon us by Christ Jesus, if their names have been mentioned anywhere, the name of the deputy president, Job Rigade Gashagwa, and that of the spouse, Her Excellency Pastor Dokas Rigade, and that of the sons, Keith and Kevin, if they have been mentioned anywhere with ill motive, or they have been written in any weekend altar, right now we arise in the mighty name of Jesus, by the power of the blood of Jesus. We erase, we erase those names from any weekend altar, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the blood of Jesus. We erase their names in the mighty name of Jesus. We release fire against such weakened authors. Let them explode in the name of Jesus. God, we declare, declare in such a moment of affliction, Lord, you will give them peace. You will give them victory. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray and believe somebody shout a big amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Hallelujah. At this point, at juncture, I want us to conclude that session of prayers. I want to bring Bishop Barnabas Bekedi so that he can uh, pray um, a, a, a prayer of faith that is a prayer of agreement upon the nation in Jesus' mighty holy name. Then Reverend Goge, I might not come back here again. Reverend Goge will pray for the church in agreement in the mighty name of Jesus. And then uh, we will have uh, a Bishop Peter Ole. Kipai, pray for the family of His Excellency in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us bow our hands and pray. This is a prayer for our nation. Almighty God, who has given us this good land for our heritage, we humbly beseech you that we may always prove ourselves 
a people mindful of your favor and glad to do your will. Bless our land with the honorable industry, sound learning, and pure manners. Save us from violence, O God, discord, and confusion. Save us from pride and arrogance, Heavenly Father, and from every evil way. Defend our liberties and fashion into one united people the multitudes brought here out of many kindreds and tongues, our Father. And deal with the spirit of wisdom those to whom in your name we entrust the authority of government. That there may be justice and peace at home. And that through obedience to your law, O oh God, our country will thrive and excel. We may show forth your praise among the nations of the world. In the time of prosperity, Lord, because we believe our nation will prosper irrespective of the will of the enemy. Fill our hearts with thankfulness. Help us to do away with the pride. For we know pride comes before for long. In the day of trouble, Job and God, suffer not our trust in you to fail. Because Job and God, we know we are, we are not in defeat and when we fail in any way. Rather, we fail when we quit from your will. Jehovah, we pray all this, believing beyond any doubt that you know, make sure we, this country is in great peace. And all this we pray through the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the church say, Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. We come before the seat of your throne in the glory of your majesty. We are so grateful, Lord, that you gave the church of Kenya an altar, a national altar for the, for the first time since this country began. We are so grateful that you love the church of Kenya. We are so thankful that you have, you have given us people who love you in government. It is for this reason, mighty God, that the enemy has come to attempt to defeat the church and the body of Christ. And because of this mighty God, because you say in the scripture that we shall declare a thing and it will come to pass. We declare every time the enemy gather, they will not agree on any agenda. We set them on the road to confusion. They will fail before they begin. Lord, the church of Kenya will remain. And the enemy and the, and the friends who testify and say they saw the finger of the Lord because you are with us. Thank you because you have done it. And it is in Jesus' name we pray and breathe. Amen. Bwana sifiwe. Bwana sifiwe. Mimi nimetoka Kajiado Kimasai. Nataka tu kusema kabla sijaomba Mungu ameneana ya kwamba ushindi ni wetu. Nataka tu kusema kwa Deputy President tunasimama na wewe. Na ule Mungu tumeomba hii serikali ipatikane kwa shida kubwa kwa vita bado ni yeye tunayepata na atatenda fear not Mungu wako naye Mungu wako naye pata amani Mungu wako naye wewe ni kiongozi wa Kenya na makabila yote tunakupenda na tunasimama Baba asanti kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu. Na katika Romans 8 
wakati wangu kama Mungu wako upande wako nani atasimama kinyume na wewe Mungu leo tumekuja hapa kuomba kwa sababu ya familia ya deputy president na tunaomba pia kwa sababu ya president vile ulikutanisha katika vita hii katika kuongoza Kenya hakuna mtu atatanganisha tena kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu Mungu tunakataa ufalme yote ambaye imeinuka kinyume ya uongozi wa Kenya na tuna disconnect roho yote mbaya na maongeo katika jina takatifu la Yesu Daudi alisema kama sio Mungu alikuwa upande wetu maadui wetu wangetumesa angali tukiwa hai siku ile ambaye tumeinukiwa na watu lakini Mungu amesimama na sisi na tukawa kama ndega ambaye walipasua mtego na wakatoka tunasema leo katika jina la Yesu bariki president Ruto na familia yake na uongozi wa Kenya bariki deputy president ili katika shakwa na katika hii doruba yote tunasimamisha doruba tunasimamisha upepo tunasimamisha masomo ya watu kwani wewe ukipaka mtu mafuta juu yake yeye ndiye utapigana na ule ataongea juu yake baba wa majeshi tunakuhusisha vita hii ukaweze kupigana katika vita hii katika jina la Yesu kwa sababu umeteua familia hii akaongoze Kenya Mungu tumefort tumefort tuo tu 2022 na tuja fort kwa president peke yake tumefort kwa deputy na president na si kwa miaka mbili bali kwa miaka tano Mungu wa majeshi roho yote ambaye anasimama kinyume kuangamisa uongozi hii tunakataa katika jina la katibu la Yesu tunaita uongozi wa Mungu tunaita hata wa, wa malaika wa Mungu wakasimame pamoja na familia wakasimame na watoto wao wakasimame na wafanyikazi wao wakasimame hata na kabila yao ikasimame na uongozi yake isimame na hata mambo yote ambayo inapangwa katika mavichoni katika angani katika chini katika maofisi baba tunasambaratisha mipango yote ya kufight deputy president katika jina la katibu la Yesu hata kwa sababu ya mama kusimama na yeye na kusimama katika nchi ya Kenya kwa maombi katika alta kama hii Mungu wa majeshi tumeraise hii familia juu yako bwana wa majeshi tumeraise mbele yako ukaweze kusimama na sisi kwa sababu Kenya mzima inaomba bwana wa majeshi tunaomba na tunasema utatenda yale ambayo unataka. Kwa nabii Biblia inasema katika Mathiyo ya kwamba ya kwamba yale ambayo mmefunga katika duniani hata mbinguni imefunga. Mungu wa majeshi tumefunga hatutaki vita katika nchi ya Kenya. Hatutaki vita katika nchi ya Kenya. Na hata tumeona huko pamoja na deputy president hata kwa sababu ya hiyo public participation umeonyesha kupitia wa Kenya ya kwamba umesimama na yeye. Simama na yeye hata Jumanne. Simama na yeye hata kesho Monday. Simama na yeye hata katika mwezi wa kumi. Simama na yeye hata katika mwaka huu. Simama na yeye katika hiyo ofisi yake katika jina la